Grindelwald, in the middle of Switzerland, is one of the most classic and traditional ski resorts in the world. In this video, we will show you the important things you need to know before planning a vacation in Grindelwald. And if you stick around until the end of the video, you'll get some great tips that will help you make better decisions, save time, and most importantly, money. The closest airports to Grindelwald are Zurich with a transfer time of 2 hours, Basel with a transfer time of 2 hours and 10 minutes, and Geneva with a transfer time of 2.5 hours. If you fly into Zurich or Geneva airports, you have the option of taking a train to Grindelwald directly from the terminals. Grindelwald is part of the Jungfrau ski region, which is comprised of 210 kilometers of ski runs and divided into the following three distinct ski areas. Möhrenschlichthorn with 55 km of ski runs, Fierst ski area with 55 km of ski runs, five of which are ski routes, and the main area, Grindelwald Wengen, featuring 102 km of ski runs. The village of Grindelwald lies between the latter two ski areas at an altitude of 1,034 meters. Of the 210 km of runs found in the region, 78 km are rated blue. 104 red and 28 black. Grindelwald Wengen ski area, also known as the Kleiner Scheidig Menlichen ski area, is built like a circle of runs around the Menlichen Lauberhorn ridge and is recommended for intermediate skiers. This area exudes a natural charm and you can see mountain trains while you ski at the foot of Eiger, Monk and Jungfrau. You can also ski into the pedestrian village of Wengen. The whole area looks like a life-sized living toy train set. Kleiner Scheidig is a train station in the middle of the ski area at an altitude of 2,061 meters. From here, you can take Europe's highest train line, which travels right up to the top of Europe. By the way, you can buy a ticket to the top of Europe for 61 CHF, which is about half the usual price if you buy a ski pass for three or more consecutive days. One of the downsides of the Grindelwald Wengen ski area is that it's quite a long journey to get there from the village, but keep watching to hear about a solution to that. The Jungfrau region has more than 50 kilometers of sledging runs, the largest number we have ever encountered in a ski region. The Fierst ski area is the area north of Grindelwald and where the beginner slope is located, as well as the longest toboggan run in the world with a length of 15 kilometers. The Fierst area has a unique attraction like the Fierst Glider and the Fierst Flyer, as well as the Cliff Walk. In our opinion, this area has the most amazing views and it usually gets more sun than the other ski areas in the Jungfrau region. The Fierst ski area is recommended for advanced skiers and freestylers mainly because it is the location of White Element Snow Park. The third ski area is called Mürgenschlichthorn and is quite a long journey from Grindelwald. In this ski area, you will have the highest peak in the ski pass, Pitz Gloria, at the altitude of 2,970 meters, and is famous because of the James Bond movie in Her Majesty's Secret Service. There is a whole James Bond world over there and many interactive attractions and real props from the film. At the top, you can find the first revolving restaurant ever built on a mountain peak, and how cool you'll feel asking the bartender for a martini, shaken, not stirred. This peak also has a cliff walk of its own. 
The snow here is the best of the three ski areas at the end of the season because of the altitude. This is the best area for freeriders. The ski area has also a snow park with an air cushion named Skyline Snow Park. The ski area named about one of the most amazing villages in the world, Muren which can only be reached by a cable car and sits at the bottom of the ski area and above a huge cliff. The village of Grindelwald is the largest in the area and is a centre of winter sports and mountaineering. Having retained its natural look, the area is authentic and charming. The best après ski venue in the area is Tipirama at the Kleine Scheiding. In town, you can go to Avocado or to Ski Lehrer Ski Bar, where all the ski instructors go after a hard day's work. We were there in April, but we've heard the après ski is better during high season. So, before we wrap up, here are our numbers for Grindelwald. For snowboarders, 7. Advanced skiers, 7.5. Intermediate skiers, 8. Beginners, 8. Freestylers, 8. Free riders, 7.5. Nightlife, 6.5. Après ski, 6.5. Resort charm, 9.5. Grindelwald is kind of a mix between ski resort and world famous traditional Alps experiences and you can see many tourists from all over the globe riding with you every morning on the mountain train. Our total score for Grindelwald as a ski resort is 8.5. This score could have been higher if the connectivity between the ski areas were better. This brings us nicely to this video's bonus tip. If you are planning a ski vacation, we urge you to wait until December 2019 when the new Menlichen 12-passenger gondola will replace the old gondola and cut the lift time in half or even wait for December 2020 when a whole new 14-passenger gondola will be running from the same base directly to the Egergletscher, cutting the lift time to that area from today's 47 minutes down to just 20. If you liked this video, you can watch our videos on Campitello di Fassa, Zelamsi and other ski resorts. You'll make our day if you push the like button. Better yet, why not subscribe for free to our channel? And don't forget to push the chime on the right so every time we upload a video, you'll be notified.